Hello friends, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome to another JavaFX video tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to look at the progress indicator. The progress indicator comes in two flavors. The first, the indeterminate progress indicator, which is a series of dots that go in a circular motion. And the second is a version where you see the actual percentage completed. This is the outline of what we're going to accomplish in this program. So let's start at the top where we create a new progress indicator. And first, we're going to create an indeterminate progress indicator. The class name is progress indicator. We'll name our variable progress indicator and that equals new progress indicator. The no arg constructor. We'll add the progress indicator to the root of our scene graph. And now when we run the program, right click run as Java application. You should see the progress indicator as the circle going round and round. That's the indeterminate progress indicator. Now let's just copy that and we'll change it to the finite progress indicator. We'll simply comment out the first indeterminate progress indicator and here we'll give a starting progress of 0.00. We'll run it again. And now we see a progress indicator that has 0% complete. It's not very big. So let's now go and configure the progress indicator. Progress indicator dot set minimum size. We're going to make that 150 by 150. This is in pixels. We'll run it again. Now you'll see the progress indicator is bigger, still at 0%. Let's change that to 25% complete in our progress indicator. Run it again, and there you see the blue color for 25% or one quarter of the progress completed. Now let's set the style on the progress indicator. So progress indicator dot set style. And this we would normally do in a CSS file, but here I'm going to do it in code. So FX progress color red, and we're going to change the color of the progress indicator to red. Let's now set the value of the progress indicator, and that's very simply done. Progress indicator dot set progress. and you give it a number between zero and one, that representing the percentage of progress that has been completed. Next, we'll get the value of the progress indicator, and that's simply progress indicator dot get progress. Now that returns a double value, so we're going to assign the value to a double variable, double progress equals progress indicator dot get progress. We're going to do a sys out to the Eclipse console, current progress, and then the variable progress that we use to hold the variable from the progress dot get progress method. So we'll run and you'll see that we get the current progress of 0.37 or 37% completed. We can also add a change listener to any property of the progress indicator. I'm going to pick one for this demonstration. So progress indicator dot progress property dot add change listener. And I'm going to use uh, an anonymous inner class change listener or is listening for type number. We'll add the change listener and then we'll add the unimplemented methods. We'll do a little cleanup. And here we'll do a sys out to show the new value that we have for the change listener after the value has changed. Progress 
changed plus new value. We run that now. You'll see that we do not get anything from the progress changed change listener because we haven't changed the value after we've attached it. So now that we've attached it, let's change it to progress indicator dot set progress 0.75 or 75% complete. Let's run. And now you see the progress changed to 75% or 0.75. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future videos when I release new content. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it as always, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, please stay safe and keep on coding.